All right, guys, so we got to talk about this explosive testimony from a mother at a school board meeting down in Soderton, Pennsylvania. And I'm telling you guys, this story is extremely, extremely, extremely heartbreaking. And it is the reason why me personally, uh, I try to fight back so hard against the woke revolutionaries trying to push sex and gender ideology on kids in schools. It is hard stories like this that really make me extremely paranoid, okay? But before I get into that, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Hey, did you know silver prices are low right now because investors are selling their holdings because of a downturn in demand? Once fields subside though, we could see a surge in demand for silver as consumers come back. A perfect time to get your silver IRA started. And this month, you'll get a free three ounce American silver virtue coin with every qualifying $20,000 IRA purchase or rollover today. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the clip of this mother in her testimony about how teachers allegedly coaxed her daughter into becoming full on transgender and undergoing transgender surgeries. Take a listen. That for a child to believe something, you have to tell them 14 times before they start to believe it. This was my daughter at ninth, in ninth grade. By the end of the year, three of the teachers that she had in her classrooms were repeating things to her. She began cutting herself. She became depressed. By the end of the school year, she was also calling herself by a different name. This parent was not informed of these things. I came in for an open house for art, and I saw her name was something different. I am her parent, and as a parent, I should be informed of these things. This is a mental health issue that needed to be addressed. So her second year, under the disguise of a fundraiser, one of the teachers who was encouraging her in these behaviors also um, took these children and had their heads shaved for a fundraiser so they'd look more like what they identified with. I just want to say that here I am today, and my child has now removed her breasts, is taking testosterone. This causes atrophy. It causes the muscles in her vagina to collapse to the point of incontinence. But these are not the facts that anyone shares with you. I'm sorry. And it only takes 14 times for a child to start believing this. I'm asking this board to be monitoring what your teachers are saying to these children. I am asking you that these parents do not have to suffer through this like I have. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that is a nightmare situation. Okay, sounds like a lawsuit to me. Again, I'm not necessarily sure if, you know, this child goes to that school district, when this happened, over what period of time this happened. Really don't know very much about the story outside of the basic details and allegations. But again, this is the worst case slash nightmare scenario that I feel like most parents probably worry about, which is why, again... <laughs> I think there's so much pushback against this stuff in school because kids are easily influenced by this stuff, right? And they say, oh, no, we just want to uh, affirm their gender by just using different pronouns. That's, that's always what it starts with. It's just language, right? We're just changing language. That's it. But then the next step is always the hormones. And then after the hormones is surgery. Those are the steps. And it's a progression. 
It's something that they coach these kids into over time. And these kids have no clue the gravity of the decision that they're making. They don't at all. They have no clue whatsoever. But if you push back against it, you're a racist, right? Homophobic, transphobic, big. And I said racist because you, you're just going to be racist against anything on the left, right? If you're against the left, you're just racist in general. So you got to throw that in there, okay? Um, That's what happens. But you have situations like this that we're trying to fight against. A parent having her child allegedly secretly coached into this identity where the parent doesn't know anything about it because it's being facilitated in secret at school. For example, a lot of stuff is probably going on in the GSA club, right? That club. They don't do it in the classrooms, but they'll do it in the club and they'll have them do these club events. They won't tell parents. Parents have no clue. And next thing you know, like this lady's child, they come home with a bald head, right? Talking about it's for cancer. When the reality is, it's just a part of affirming their gender, the process, which unfortunately led to this woman's daughter getting her breast cut off and going on testosterone. Sounds like there's some problems. I mean, anybody could have told you that. That is not how God made us. God did not make us in that way. And that is why people experience these type of complications. It's not that hard. Okay. If God made a mistake, I don't think these complications would be occurring when you're trying to fix the mistake. Right. And you know, there's always this thing out there about young folks, right? Why aren't young people having kids? Okay. Why are they having more kids? I consider myself to be a young person. I'm 28. So I'm relatively young. I don't have any kids. One of the reasons why I don't have kids is because of stuff like this. Young liberal people, uh, they're worried about climate change, right? They're worried about stuff like that. I'm not worried about climate change, okay? That has no bearing whatsoever on my decision to have kids. Stuff like this, though, scares me. I am actually extremely paranoid of having a child and then having my child be brainwashed in school like that. I don't want that to happen. That is honestly one of my worst fears, that is one of my worst fears. I, I promise you. This is why I'm so like hard on this stuff because I'm just like, I don't want to bring up a child in a world like this where you have to worry about sending them to school and they're getting brainwashed by teachers with this garbage woke nonsense that could result in a child undergoing these procedures that ultimately uh, affect their lives permanently in a negative way. They make it so they can't procreate. They can't have children. <laughs> and you can't have grandkids, right? Again, nightmare situation. This is the type of stuff I'm scared of. This is the type of stuff I'm paranoid about when it comes to having kids. I ain't worried about climate change. It's this. It's what's going on in these schools. It's the direction of our society when it comes to culture. That's what I'm worried about. Okay. Um, so with that being said, again, it, this is a terrible situation. I'm pretty sure this is one of those situations where this mother, by the time she realized what was happening, it was too late. And the child probably wanted to press forward with it and press forward with it. She was probably pressured into, you know, just going along with it. Because if you don't, you're transphobic, right? You're, you're putting your child's life in danger. Uh, again, it, it's super depressing, man. It really is. But I think she should explore every legal avenue she can uh, to remedy this situation. Because this is the type of stuff that just should not be happening in schools. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.